And we are back. Nimr and Deer coming back in for another session of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And if I hadn't figured out how to access the mission computer already, I can do that. Um, it tells me I can spend points for my squad members. I have. I still haven't looked at the codex. It is, it, it's been hard, but I've resisted. Uh, so anyway. Uh, so when last we left, um, things here on Eden Prime had uh, kind of gone to crap. And we had this weird sort of gateway of, uh, you know, chest high walls, which sort of indicated stuff was about to happen. And I, you know, I indicated as much. Oh, look, something's happening. Hey, look, she looks familiar. My shooting text. Um, this, you may not want to look at this just in case you're squeamish. Just sorry, I didn't get the warning out in time. Um, all right, so we've got the, the robot guys, which technically we know what they are because of the, the HUD. It's told us what they are. All right. So, um, yeah, we saw her one in the, you know, the cutscene. She was the one who had a, uh, <laughs> who conveniently had a uh, name on her subtitle instead of just being officer or soldier or what have you. Um. Uh, We've, uh, as you said, we also, um, if it's not quite as big a deal now, but she featured very prominently, like, front and center on the box art for the original game. She, you know, so she was, you know, kind of supposed to be a, you know, a prominent character. So, um, anyway, and now we got to go help her out because the robots, which we've been told are deaf, even though the game itself hasn't actually said their names, the displays have told us what they are. So we can't quite see any of them at the moment, so I think we're going to have to sprint down into cover. Probably about right there. Um, let me use the tactical thing here. Where's Caden? Caden's behind me with his gun out. Okay, Caden, why don't you go over there with her while I'm going this way? All right, so now that I'm here, uh, Caden... Would you kindly use your biotics and chuck this dude backwards? Yeah, that'd be good. And, uh... Then I... am gonna pop out... and not hit the broadside of a barn. Um, alright. But I am locked onto that guy, so... And my... mine got stuck. Like... Right there. Yeah, nice. So yeah, in case anybody's wondering, there's my overload. It's just gonna sit there until the game finally decides to, like, let it go away. Nice. Is that everybody? Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Yep. I do like how you automatically... If you, if you have your gun out, you know, it, you know, you, you point it away from non-hostile targets. So, um... We'll, we'll, we'll talk to you in a minute, but first... Oh, no! Well, Gunnery on. Chief Ashley Williams looting. of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Chief Williams, you stopped me from looting. This is unforgivable. No, um... Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. Yeah, we saw. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Okay, well, like I said, yeah, we're... This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. <laughs> I've never actually seen what happens if you say stay here, and I'm not about to do it now. Like, you know, all of my characters, even the renegade ones, are like, yeah, more people is good. More, you know, more people to get shot at is generally the right move. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. All right, brace yourselves. It's uh, time for some lore. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. 
Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. That limited AI is kind of insulting, but anyway. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. So that we were sent fight? out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What about the science? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. Oh, That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Okay, we don't need to ask about the scientists because that's just, you know, a repeat. Um, so we asked about the Geth. What? Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. <laughs> uh, enough firepower to take out a platoon. I think he had, like, as much firepower as my squad members have, but uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, all right. Let's head Move out. Move out. Now I can loot. All right. So I got some Paragon. With codex entries. No. Now. Now. Give me a minute, Ashley. Um, so I've got some ammo upgrades. That's good. We'll, we'll, we'll use those in a minute. And the grenade, which... Ah, grenades. And some improved armor. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how the armor fit into that little crate, but we're going to take a moment and mess with it. Oh, uh, let's see here. Equipment. Alright. If you want to read about how the information... about how the equipment screen works, feel free to pause, take a look. I'm not gonna, you know, go into it in great detail. Uh, as far as, uh... Let's see, where's my armor? There we go. So uh, you can sort of see the armor. You can all the little green bars indicate that it's better. So the N7 armor is supposed to be iconic for Shepard, but numbers is numbers. So, yeah. And fun fact, in case somebody's wondering, no. If you try to put that same suit of armor on somebody else, it doesn't spontaneously, like, carry the N7. I think I can... It used to be a preview? Maybe not. But um, anyway. So, yeah. If I, if I swap it over onto Ashley, yes, it doesn't have the N7 logo. That is specific to you as Shepard with that particular suit of armor. Um, anyway, so let's go back to Shepard here. So we also got some ammo upgrades. So you can, uh, each, well, as you said, weapons have upgrade slots. At this stage, it's one upgrade for the weapon itself and then one for your ammunition. Both of the things I got were, in fact, you know, weapon upgrades. So, um, or to go to ammo upgrades. So um, the armor-piercing rounds are actually one of the better things in the game, and they kind of go away because you lose, you know, the thing. But um, getting those is nice. Um, I'm going to put those on my own pistol. should probably put them on Ashley's, to be honest, given what my accuracy looked like from the one time I popped out and shot at that Geth. But anyway, um, let's see. Speaking of that, where's Ashley uses an assault rifle, and we'll give her these radioactive rounds. They're not going to make much difference. The um, enemies here don't use an awful lot of special abilities, but... Can't hurt to use the upgrade since we found it, right? All right. Um, she also, as, as a soul, conveniently enough, you know, Jenkins died last episode. Again, press F if you didn't before. Uh, so, yeah, we've got um, some upgrading to do. Um, she's very much a shooty-shooty bang-bang type. So, yeah, I'm leaning into her assault rifles pretty hard, actually. Let me undo that. So, I'll put two into assault rifles. What's assault training do? Is that the one? So assault training um, unlocks an ability called Adrenaline Burst. In the later games, that's like bullet time. Everything slows down. Here, it just lets you fire off all your powers again. As a soldier, she doesn't have a ton, so I'm not too worried about it. The big thing it does is later on, it unlocks fitness, which gives you this thing called immunity, which is like redunculous, you know, damage resistance. It's actually, I think, if I if I remember what I you know, correctly, it's part of what makes the higher difficulties kind of a pain in this game is that most of the enemies, like as soon as the fight starts, they pop immunity, so it takes ages to kill them all. Um, anyway, so put some into her armor and give her the health regen from the soldier ability. I think that should do it, right? Yeah, cool. All right, so 
Um, actually, let's see here. Make sure she is using her... Uh, periodically, the game will have people using weird weapons. Yeah, she's got her assault rifle. I'm going to switch back over to my sniper rifle for this. Now that I've got somebody else I can kind of send up front. Run to the waypoint. Take cover behind the rock. I love that you get music to do it. Um, all right. Thanks for running in front of me there. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, Ashley, right there. Caden, why are you out in the open? And you can, you know, whoa, get down. Something shot at me, what shot at me? Okay, how? How, B yeah, but how? There we go, okay. Okay, we'll figure out we'll figure out how later, but you know. Okay. So now I should switch back over to my pistol, because I'm about to run like three inches away from this guy. Uh, let's see if I can do this smooth. So it told me how to throw a grenade. If I can throw the grenade behind this thing and kinda of clip Eat him, this. that'd be cool. Why didn't you throw the grenade, Jeopard? Yeah, okay. That feels nice. There we go. Okay. Right. Negative contacts, Commander. Still like I had the arrow up there. I've still got the arrow. Good, good lord, game. Sorry, is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. Like, despite the fact that I actually moved into that spot. But can't. Okay, that's hilarious. BioWare's games weren't known for being well polished, right? So, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. So the dig site we can investigate. I don't think there's anything out around the side here. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's an item we can collect, but it's going to take a bit to get to that. We'll go ahead and investigate dig site first. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Hey, that, we got an autosave. That can't... That's not Maybe suspicious at all. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Give us a second. We just found some weapons. So. And, um... So, for what it's worth, my wife and son have actually played a fair amount of the game at this point since we got it. And it turns out, yeah, there's been some changes. So, whoops. Oh, we leveled up. That's right. So, level ups come pretty fast and furious here at the beginning. So, um, all right. So, keep be beefing my abilities. In particular, I can't remember if I mentioned this. Uh, you can sort of hack into containers, and you, the, your skill in electronics and decryption allow that. So you can, you know, read the ability there about using it on easy objects. As you leveled up, you get to like average, I think, is what it says. Yeah, and then hard. Um, all right. So go ahead and work toward my pistol ability. Maybe I'll be able to shoot the broadside of a barn with it, right? Um, okay, Caden. Said I'm leaning into his biotics. Does Sentinel, does that help cooldowns? Yeah, so we'll go ahead and put one point in there for some uh Yeah. Gives me a gives me a bit of a cooldown bonus, and then we'll jack throw, because like I said, that's what we're using on him. Ashley. We'll get her This is actually pretty important. I need to be I really need to rethink how I'm handling Shepard's things, because yeah, I've gotten shield boost, which like I said is kind of important. Um, so yeah, we'll We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, Shepard, I gotta put like two ranks into that so I can get his shield boost back up. So if his shields go down, he's not just like a sitting duck. But, oh well. You live, you learn, right? Uh, so the journal tells me, yeah, we need to investigate the research camp. Yeah, let's get on. We'll get right on that. All right. Uh, I actually was just trying to change back to my sniper rifle game, but okay. I don't think I'm missing anything there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. The camp got hit hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> I love that it just announced there's an ambush. <laughs> this looks like a good place for an ambush. Conspicuous pictures oh, of, God. you know, these They're guys. Still alive. Okay. Yep. What did the Geth do to them? 
Yeah, that's right. Because, yeah, they are real close. So. Uh, Caden, can you chuck that guy? That'd be useful. He's just about dead from just the, the damage from the, uh... Alright, so let's see here. Ashley, trigger your overkill so you can bring these guys down. Get this dude's shields off him. He started running away because goofy AI. Alright. I think that's everybody? Alright. Yeah, I love that it announces, looks like a good place for an ambush, and then immediately like goes to a cutscene of, you know, things that are going to ambush us. Oh, there's an upgrade kit hiding over here. It's got some more weapons. Heavy armor for human. Unfortunately, you've got to put more stuff into, into an armor thing before you can use it. Shepard can't use heavy armor at all, neither will Caden. Ashley could eventually, but um, anyway, yeah, we're, we're going to take it all. So... So that door, I don't think there's anything else in here. Still can't remember how much. I, I tend to try to stay away from the fire, because yeah, I, I remember there is at least one point in the in this area where yeah, the fire will like straight up just kill you. Um that door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Yeah, but this one's not. And there's a crate. And another crate. We take all of the everything. That's Alright. So yeah, we'll go ahead and hack the door. So tells you can use this. It's a little button mashing mini game. It's not super engaging gameplay, but um. All right, so. Yeah, so you do a little Simon Says button press game, you unlock stuff. Normally I would have saved before that because if you fail, I don't think you can retry. You couldn't in the original game. At that point, you would have to, you like, sacrifice some of this, uh, your Omni-Gel stuff to, you know, magically, like, dissolve it. Um, anyway. Humans. Thank the Maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. I don't like the way you're creeping up to me, Gollum. Take it easy. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? Yeah, the it beacon. It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. He's just a ball of sunshine. Um. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Yeah, who knows? We have unearthed the heart of evil. He knows. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second, we were gathering up our equipment. The next, we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. <laughs> so I think we, we haven't asked about Nihilus yet. Um, We've got the... We've got asking about your assistant, you know. Like, during his graduate work, did he, like, read a lot of the Necronomicon? Like, did he graduate from Miskatonic? Because he's talking like it. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No... I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. If you feel like going renegade, um, yeah. 
if you pick the I can shut him up, um, if I remember right, Shepard just cold cocks him and knocks him out. And then you kind of convince the doctor it's probably for the best, like, he, that he's, like, a potential danger to her. But yeah, we're not going to do that. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. All right. I think we've asked everything. So... Yeah, so... Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Yeah, so... By the way, okay, no, y'all don't have anything. I was like, we need your stuff. And now I'm... Okay, come on, Caden. There we go. Thank you. My own squad mate body blocking me so I couldn't get out. All right. Um, that's, oops, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into the menu and take a look. So, I like how the equipment's not highlighted, despite the fact that I've picked up new stuff. Uh, I do think it's interesting. So, uh, the, the the weapons in the game are generally made by different manufacturers. You can see sort of the name of the company that made the weapon underneath, like, you know, the type of weapon. So, the thing I'm using is, you know, made by somebody called Han Kadar. We have Elkos Combine. You can, you know, hold down the bumpers to get information about them. Yeah, it's, you know, it could be, you know, kind of neat lore information. There's a lot in there. So, um, anyway. So, uh, as you make your way through the game, you, you get a lot of stuff and you can see sort of the statistical, you know, things that go along with this. One thing I noticed um, is if memory serves in the original, like, Xbox 360 version of Mass Effect, these accuracy ratings for assault rifles were all garbage. They were, like, terrible. Like, it wasn't until you got, like, a third to a halfway through the game that you would have an assault rifle that didn't have, like, an accuracy rating of one. Almost like it was designed to make people who weren't playing soldiers not feel bad that they weren't getting, you know, like, better weapons. But, um, this is not, not, not quite the case now. You can see the Elkos weapons, they do a little more damage, they can shoot more before your gun overheats. I can't remember, I think we've talked previously about the infinite ammo, but your gun will overheat if you just keep shooting too much. Uh, it is weird that they've changed the way it reads. In the, um, in the Xbox version that I played back in 07... It would list how many shots you could fire before a reload. It was a very discrete number. Now it gives you, like, a number of seconds of continuous fire before it, you know, before you get to that overheat level. I think I kind of preferred the shots before. I think it was an easier number to quantify instead of imagining how often you're just kind of fanning the hammer on the trigger. Anyway. So, uh, I don't need... Did I find... Have I found a pistol? I have not yet found a pistol. So... We've got a couple of shotguns. We got a couple of two different types of shotguns, which nobody is using. Um, Ashley, let's get back over to the assault rifle. You don't need the accuracy quite so much. So, when you change an equipment, it will actually swap upgrades, which is kind of nice. Because yeah, we'll give her the uh, we'll give her the um, Elkos, you know, Avenger assault rifle. While we're at it, I, just as a personal thing, you'll notice I, I, I tend to like people having guns made by the same manufacturer. It's just a quirk of how I do things. So yeah, so we'll give him the, as you say, we'll give Ashley the Elkos stuff. Caden, you're not going to be using this anytime soon, but uh, yeah, so... It is interesting, because consistently in the original game, yeah, no, uh, the Elkos guns usually, as I recall, they had the highest damage of stuff at this level, but were generally the least accurate, which I guess kind of tracks. Um, anyway, we, we can't compare. The Alanis was kind of in the middle, and then the Han Kadar stuff was, like, most accurate. But, uh, anyway, so, said so you're not going to be using this shotgun. It's kind of a comical that I bothered to do anything with it. Uh... I'll need to compare, so I'll give him this uh, hammer sniper rifle again just because it matches. Is it better? It's more damage per shot, but I get way fewer shots and it's less accurate. I'll stick with the Han Kadar one for now for Shepard. So, so the journal. 
At least we're no longer having to, as you say, we had two things for the dig site. We came to a research camp and talked to, you know, our buddy, you know, Lovecraft, the, you know, the scientist. And now we're heading to the spaceport. A, a bunch of stuff is going to happen at, uh, as we make our way to the spaceport. So this is probably a good place to press pause on the video. Um, and then we'll pick back up with what happens as we continue our run to find this beacon on Eden Prime and you know, in the next one. So once again, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the rest of the Nimrindir Plays Mass Effect series to check out you know what got us here. We will catch you next time.